Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a lesson about the International Phonetic Alphabet for English Pronunciation. So let's start. So, what is the International Phonetic Alphabet? Well, the IPA is a system for representing phonetic sounds with symbols. It helps us to pronounce a word correctly. For example, for example, we see a new word in a book. We see this word in a book and we do not know what it means and we do not know how to pronounce it. So, the first thing we do is we look in the dictionary. And first of all, we look at the definition and we learn that it is a baby sheep. So this word here is a baby sheep. Okay? Then, in the dictionary, we look at the IPA transcription. Here it is. Okay, so this will tell us how to pronounce the word. And if we understand these symbols, then we will know the correct pronunciation of every word. So, let's carry on with the example. So, the IPA symbols, here are three IPA symbols. Okay. Here they are. And this one, so the first one, is the symbol for the sound L, like leg. Second symbol is A, like cat. And the third symbol is the symbol for M, like mother. So, if we know these symbols, we now know how to pronounce this word. We pronounce it lamb. Lamb. So, we know that we do not pronounce the last letter B. Okay, so with IPA, we now know that the letter B is silent and we know how to correctly pronounce the word. In English, a letter can have several sounds. Therefore, the spelling of a word does not help us know the correct sound. IPA is a method of representing the letters in a word a as a sound. Example, the letter C. Okay, so when we write the letter C, or when we read the letter C, here is one example, the word car, and here is another example, in the word rice. So, have you noticed, we have the same letter, but the sound of the letter C is different in both words. And so, we use IPA to represent the two different sounds. For example, here, the letter C in the word car has this sound, K. And here it is, s, like rice. Okay, in this video, I describe all of the phonetic sounds in the English language, both British English and American English. And you will learn how to read 
IPA transcriptions in dictionaries. Okay. And now I'm just going to give you um, an example dictionary which you can find on the internet where there are IPA transcriptions. Okay. Okay. So this is the online dictionary that I recommend. It is called Cambridge Dictionaries Online. And this is the address dictionary.cambridge.org. So when you come to the page, click on British English. And then here, type the word that you are looking for. So let's look for the word football. Click on search. And here is the definition of the game football. And the most important thing for this video is here is the IPA. Here are the phonetic symbols, the phonetic transcription for the word football. And since we asked for British English, the first one, this is the British English transcription, and this is the American English transcription. Okay? So this is where you find it. Now let's start with the IPA symbols. So first of all, there are some special symbols. This one is the start and the end of the transcription. Example, if we have the word cat, then we show the start and the end of the transcription with the slash symbol. This symbol shows the stressed syllable of a word. Example, the word prefer. Can you hear that we stress the second syllable? And in IPA, we show that with this symbol here to show that this is the syllable which we stress, prefer, prefer. This um, dot symbol shows the start of a new syllable. Okay. Example, the word football has two syllables, foot and ball. And in IPA, we show um, the start of the new syllable with the dot. This symbol shows that the consonant L is pronounced as a separate syllable. Example, in the word little, the L sound is in fact a new syllable. So we use this symbol. And this symbol is only used in American English. Okay. And it shows 